Hey everyone, Eamon here with another quick 3D printing demo. Today I want to show you the difference in post-processing between an FDM print and an SLA print. I've started this massive personal print of Hodor from Game of Thrones, so you can see that printing right now. It'll be a good example for this demo. So I've got his left arm here printed in both FDM on the left and SLA on the right. If we take a look at the hollow prints on the inside, we can see what's really going on. The FDM print has a bit of a scaffolding, and so you can see the internal structure, and that's used to preserve material. And with the SLA, we can also see there's hollowing to save material, but it's smoother, so we'll be able to do a bit more sanding. And check out this support, there's internal supports as well. So let's first take a look at stereolithography or SLA post-processing. Fresh out of the printer, we need to submerge the print in isopropyl alcohol for a few minutes. Then we can place it out in the sun to UV cure. After the print's cured, we can remove the supports. And you can use some modeling clippers like this, or if it's a pretty solid print, you can just use your hands to rip apart the supports. They come off pretty easily. Once you've removed the supports, the next step is to remove any support nubs that are left over. And we can do this pretty quickly with an X-Acto knife. A quick way to get rid of a lot of nubs at the bottom is to use a big sanding block. You can also use a smaller sanding file to be a bit more accurate. Once the print's all cleaned up, it needs to be primed. So we're going to use Tamiya spray primer here. With stereolithography, you need to prime the prints, otherwise they'll keep curing and the resin will become brittle. And that's all there is. Let's now take a look at post-processing for an FDM or fused deposition modeling print. Here we can see it coming fresh off the printer bed and there'll be a lot of things we need to address. So let's take a closer look. We see a bunch of blobbing and stringing and this is often caused by uh, the hot end temperature being too hot and so additional bits are deposited everywhere. And to clean up, we can start by just ripping off the extraneous pieces, but we're gonna need to go in with some tools for this finer stuff. We're also gonna need to remove any support material that was generated. So let's do that first. I'll just use my modeling clippers to clip away any support material. And this comes off pretty easily. Then we can use an X-Acto knife to get rid of the little blobs. There's quite a few of those, so I might as well use my sanding block here as well. We've eliminated most of the blobs, but some areas are pretty hard to reach. And for that, we can use a fine pointed Dremel tool. And these are really great for quick cleanup in those hard to reach spots. Another thing I like to make part of my workflow with FDM prints is XTC. It's a brush on coating for 3D printed parts. And what it does is it fills in all the build lines. You can check it out more on their website, Smooth On XTC. So I've mixed a little solution and I'm just going to coat my entire print with it pretty thoroughly. This will need to cure for about a few hours or if you heat it, less. It'll leave a shiny gloss coating and now we're ready to prime. And here's the final model side by side. This one up close to the camera is the stereolithography print, and we can see it's got a really nice smooth and matte finish. The FDM print is a bit more glossy, and it could use a bit more cleanup as well. But pretty good for a cheap PLA print. Hope you guys found that informative, and happy 3D printing!